Hey YouTube, it's Stefan, and today is October 22nd, and tomorrow we'll make 21 months on tea, so uh, here's my, I guess here's my update. So, I don't have a whole lot of changes to report. Uh, facial hair is slowly but surely working its way in. You can't really tell because I just cut my hair last week, so, and my facial hair is kind of whatever. Fat redistribution is also continuing. I feel like my hips are even smaller than they were last week, uh, or last week, last month. I think that's all I have, like, physical updates-wise. I have a couple life update things. So today, uh, this evening, starts my third and final semester of massage therapy school, which I'm really super excited about. Finally closing that out and getting on with the process of getting my license. And, uh, work is, work is kind of work. Um, I've had some, I haven't had really any issues at work. I've just had some personal, I don't know what to do about this things. So, uh, I am by no means stealth in my everyday life, but um, at my current job, there are only three people that know that I am trans, which is okay, except for it's hard for me to decide whether or not I should tell folks. So, for example, there are, there are three ladies that I generally sit next to, and I, not for any particular reason, that's just where I like to sit, and they happen to sit in those same areas. And it's nice to have someone to talk to between calls and whatnot because I work in a call center. It's hard to, so one of those, th uh, let me, let me go back. One of those three ladies, they, she knows. The other two do not. Uh, the one I don't know very well because she only works part time so we don't have a lot of the same hours. And the third, the third one is, it's hard because She's a nice person, and we joke around, and we talk pretty much every day that we work together, but I also know that she is a rather religious person, and she doesn't, she's not okay with folks being gay, so that in turn tells me that she's not going to be okay with the fact that I'm trans, but not, I feel like by not telling her it's just a tough, it's a tough decision. Like, do, do I tell her? Do I just let it go? Let her assume that I'm a cis male? Do, there's just a whole lot of ifs, ands, or buts. I don't, I really, I don't know. It's, it's a tough decision for me to decide whether or not I tell her. And part of me says, no, she doesn't need to know. The other part of me says, yes, she does need to know because of X, Y, and Z, so I don't know. Other things that uh, life up in the life update section is something that I am looking into for next year, and it's not really trans related, it's just me related, um, is I am considering, well, more, more so than considering, I'm going to... Um, hopefully start the process of getting lap band surgery next year. So a little background. So I am, I mean, most of you should know if you've been watching me that I am 32, I'll be 33 in December. And if you watched my mon one year on T montage video, I have been pretty much always been the overweight kid. And I started playing sports at a very young age, and I always played at least one sport every season, if not multiple, and I've still always been the big kid. Um, I'm 5'9 right now, and I weigh about 285, between 285 and 300 pounds. I don't really know, because I've weighed myself recently, because I just haven't. Um, I'm not, it'd be one thing if I like could like change my diet and help things along, but at this current juncture, I can't really say that my, my diet is 
100% correct, but it is also not 100% incorrect. So I'm not, I'm not a person, a big, like, I don't eat a lot of snacks. I don't eat a lot of chips. I don't eat a lot of, I don't eat a lot of the things that you're not supposed to eat. Um, with that being said, there's also not a lot of things, um, well, with that being said, there's not, I don't eat a lot of, like, I don't eat a lot of fried foods. I don't, yeah, so it's just one of those, like, so it's something that I've considered for a long time, and uh, since I'm fortunate enough to have insurance that will pay for it, I think that my, originally my goal was to have histo and top surgery next year, but I think I'm going to put off histo till 2015. This is assuming that I can't have those three surgeries in the same year if I space them out enough. I don't know. I would just uh, research. I need to go talk to people and see what happens. But yeah. I think that's all I have. It's uh, something that I've been considering for a long time, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna, I would like for it to happen next year along with top surgery. Preferably top surgery first. Just makes life easier when you go to the other doctors. Um, but yeah, so I hope everyone has a good month. If, if you have any uh, video topics you'd like me to talk about, Please let me know if I have any other random other than updates. I will be sure to post them and I will see you guys next time. Peace.